first orbital launch in February was delivered by SpaceX. As part of the Starlink 5-3 mission, the number of all Starlink satellites launched so far exceeded 3,800. Falcon 9 lifted off at 7.57 Universal Time on February 2 from the LC-39A ramp at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. As the name of the Starlink 5-3 mission already suggests, it is the third batch of satellites intended for the fifth shell of the entire system. This shell should contain 2,500 satellites after its completion. The fifth shell is characterized by the fact that the satellites operate in an orbit at an altitude of 530 kilometers, which is inclined by 43 degrees to the equator. The reusability of the first stages of the Falcon rockets is often talked about, but we should not forget about the fairings. During this mission, one half was used for the sixth time, and the other for the seventh time. Both halves parachuted into the water, where a boat called Bob retrieved them. This time, Falcon 9 carried 53 satellites, which the rocket delivered to orbit at an altitude of 325 to 343 kilometers. From there, the satellites will move to the final orbit using their own propulsion. Starlink satellites are tasked with creating a satellite network that will enable fast and reliable internet connection around the world. The first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket used for this mission flew on its fifth mission. Its landing site was the sea platform A Shortfall of Gravitas, which was waiting 660 kilometers from the launch site. Thank you for watching Space Flight News. If you have something on your mind, we would love to hear your feedback in the comments section. It will help us to reach more viewers.